Hello everyone, uh, my name is Zulkarnayan Hayat. Uh, today we will learn uh, how to install Oracle WebLogic Server 12C on Linux platform by using generic installer. Uh, the Oracle generic installer requires a Java development kit. Uh, so this video cover hands on step by step. Uh, we will cover uh, actually we divided this video in three uh, step first step will be uh, installing JDK second will be uh, weblogic server and third configuration wizard to create a weblogic server domain so there is a software requirement uh, the only requirement is that uh, we need the operating system uh, Oracle Linux so let's start hands on So I uh, written all steps uh, in uh, one text file uh, which will be uploaded to the this video. So let's start. Uh, first we will download uh, the web logic. We just open the Google and we uh, uh, using the Oracle uh, e-delivery uh, website and uh, we just write down web logic. Search web logic. We'll see. So top on twelve point two point one three. We added to the chart and we uh, we can download through uh, downloader Oracle downloader application or we can you uh, download directly from the URL. So I only selected Oracle Web Logic. We choose the operating system. We are going to install Linux sixty four bit. Continue. Accept agreement and continue. So either we can use a downloader or we can uh, use a direct uh, URL. So I click on this and I can save as in my st directory. I created one folder a web logic source so it will take uh, it is almost 800 MB so it will take uh, some time to download while we are downloading also Java we use Java 8 so we accept the license agreement and we download Java 64-bit uh, for Linux, just click on this, and we also save as uh, our source folder. So I mentioned all step-by-step -step instruction in this text file. Uh, it will be uploaded to this video. So you can open. Uh, I just make uh, easy. So just. Uh, open secure shell client and uh, these are all prerequisite before installing uh, web logic so initially first we will download the source uh, second uh, we need to set up host configuration and so on so we'll uh, go through step by step first we will uh, set up the host file and uh, host file uh, So we need to set up same as I mentioned in text file. Uh, your IP will be changed if you are may, uh, you are installing uh, web logic on your system. So you can check the IP and you know. So now we are creating a group. O install. Uh, then we create one user Oracle uh, which is uh, owner of uh, O install group. This is Oracle uh, user. You can make uh, directories. We just you can just make copy paste. Uh, it is very easy to uh, do. The we just may change ownership for this directory, install directory. 
And we can check the language uh, local. Uh, we need actually UTF-8 for this installation. So see, you can see all the UTF-8 is there. And uh, third step is we need to set up kernel parameter based on uh, WebLogic requirement. It is the OS level kernel uh, parameter. After that, most important step is uh, dependency packages for uh, WebLogic. So uh, I made a list and you just need to copy paste one time and paste there. And install these are packages uh, requirement just copy and paste it will take uh, five to six minutes to install so first check the internet is working on your machine or not so i just make ns look yahoo it is working fine so i just copy and paste there so it is downloading and installing the packages dependency packages uh, which is a prerequisite for oracle web logic installation So this is the shell element. Uh, we need to set this shell element. I, I actually mentioned uh, in the text file. You just make uh, copy and paste there. So this is all again. I'm telling this is all prerequisite for installation of Oracle Web Logic. So we need to go step by step. So six, step six is uh, we are making a state directory where we copy our source. So for Java different and for our WebLogic different directory. So we created two directories. Uh, this is called state directory or we can say setup directory where we can keep the source. Keep in mind these uh, files mean Oracle WebLogic and Java we need to copy using Oracle user so no need to give uh, again ownership uh, permission or ownership of the group so we just create it uh, yes, that's it two trees using Oracle users and this is a uh, when we install the web logic uh, this is the installation directory uh, this is a uh, this is a software for uh, web logic so we copy uh, we already downloaded uh, java we just open bincp this is a secure uh, ssh uh, gui uh, SFTP we can just open and we can uh, write down our IP and we can uh, copy these two files Java and Oracle WebLogic from our desktop to that machine that machine this is very simple we just use an Oracle and password and we just, I, I went to uh, my source directory and I copied all file required file mean oracle web logic source and java source to create a directory which i mentioned above in step 6 it's very simple so i downloaded here these two file last one and uh, yeah, i'm taking because I downloaded uh, before uh, different uh, installation media so, so I copy this I copy in uh, WLS folder which is created in software directory this is our state directory so it will take uh, 5 to 10 minutes depends on your internet speed to copy on your VM now we need to copy Java JDK 
it is also called uh, Java Development Kit. We'll copy uh, on Java folder uh, under software directory. It will take a while. This is not a big file. Step 7 is the preparing uh, installation path where we keep the installation. Uh, this is our Oracle Home, WebLogic Oracle Home and uh, we have Java Home. So uh, we created uh, two directories, Java and product under Oracle. Sorry. So we need to set uh, in the startup variable, you mask mission to this user so now we are going to install java we just go the java where we copied there yeah, where we want to install java this directory we went there and then we just extracted the java zip file on this path while to extract the file it's done so now we uh, rename the file uh, from this uh, actually is uh, uh, bigger size of this file name so we just uh, reduce the size we jdk move into to jdk just we created the soft link between JDK to uh, JDK 1.8 which we downloaded and we extracted. So that's it, we check the version, Java successfully installed. So now we're going to unzip WebLogic source. Till now we did not face any issue, any exception. Uh, so we need to follow the same step uh, which I mentioned in text file step by step and uh, you will not face any issue du while uh, during installation so it extracted on the same folder so we need to export Java home actually uh, better we uh, added uh, in our environment variable uh, in uh, bash profile uh, of the oracle user so i'm adding now uh, i copied that's it we need to save quit so done no, I, I did not save no, again Save and quit. And now when uh, we uh, use Oracle user uh, to install our web logic, all prerequisite we completed. Now we need to run the installer. So first we will to start a file of the Oracle user. So yeah, let's open terminal. see uh, I check the user uh, we log in through Oracle user and now we are, I'm just uh, checking the Java version uh, Java is executable available on the path so we just uh, go to our uh, state directory of WebLogic and we run this command it is user one app oracle product and uh, this is our software sorry not product it's software directory so wls and now i need to run this uh, just 
copy and paste or you can write down java this jar and f m12 hit enter it will take a while next skip the auto update choose the oracle home path because uh, i did not uh, add uh, this home path oracle home to my environment variable so manually i will go to the path so next can view Choose the WebLogic server. Next. Strong. It will take while and. Uh, Next, finish. Done. Now we are going to configure the domain. Uh, using configuration wizard to create a weblogic server domain so let's start we will go to this path our weblogic installation completed now uh, again I'm telling we are going to create a weblogic domain using configuration wizard so I just uh, go to this path curriculum common common and pin Uh, config dot sh I just hit it will open configuration wizard create your domain next So we'll choose uh, only with web logic server. We'll install very basic installation uh, Oracle web logic server uh, with the admin console. Uh, so later we can add uh, any servers, uh, any server uh, based on our requirement based on our requirement for web logic so next so we will uh, give the web logic password a uh, password should be uh, minimum eight digit so web logic password is very important we need to memorize it and note down somewhere will go to production you can see there is a JDK you know it is coming from the path which we set to an environment variable so we will go for admin server only not node manager not uh, topology so we just selected administration servers administration server we later we can as I mentioned we can add any server through our uh, web logic console URL so I will show you when we finish this 
so these are local address so we choose local address local address mean your local LAN address so that's it create it will take while to complete Yeah, it's done. Uh, you can see this URL. You can access this console URL through your browser and you can uh, log in through WebLogic user. So let me uh, access. I click on this URL, it will open in browser locally. Yes, it's done. Uh, we have completed successful installation of WebLogic server and we also created a uh, basic domain uh, using configuration wizard and now we can log in and we can see the environment servers and uh, in this WebLogic we can deploy any application uh, so we done we completed all installation steps without any exceptions uh, if you go to the server you can see uh, the admin server is there you can go to the control and you can uh, you can create new server if you want based on your requirement for example I click on new and it will asking the server name yes so I will not create cancel it To do administration means stop, start, and resume and pause. You can go to the control and you can select the server and you can uh, stop, start the administrator's console. So, if you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.